good morning. I started the dishwasher and uh, I put it on the long cycle so it's not done yet and I need to uh, go ahead and make this video so I can clean off my counter. But um, I uh, got into the fridge this morning and these three products, the milk, the um, cream and the buttermilk were getting close to expiration and there were there was a substantial amount especially left of the buttermilk. So you can freeze buttermilk just on its own and um, I've done that before and then used it later in a recipe but it's just one more thing you're putting a container in there then you got to pull it back out and so I just decided to take 10 minutes whip up some um, buttermilk pancakes <coughs> excuse me I just got done working out and coming in from outside and so that cold air it's freezing in Wyoming this morning <laughs> But anyway, so before I went, I got up at 6 um, because cycling doesn't start till 7. It's kind of later in the morning to be up and ready and ready to start work when I want to. Um, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they have a workout class at 5.45, and that's a little bit better for me, even though I hate getting up, hate it, hate it, but it it just gets me going, and so by 8, I'm actually ready to start work. But but this is good. It's worth it, um, and I'm trying to support the, the community because to have cycling cycling several times a week there we have it about four or five times offered that's just a great blessing so I'm trying to be thankful but anyway these were going to expire so I whipped up some buttermilk pancakes from scratch it took le literally less than five minutes to make the batter I did not have enough buttermilk so I just put in heavy cream and milk on something like pancakes that you can kind of look at the consistency of the batter before you cook it I do substitute things like that if I if I would have had sour cream that needs used up I would have done that if I would have had cream cheese I would have done that whatever kind of you know yogurt I would have done that um you know be creative when you're trying to save money and um anything that's going to give these pancakes flavor you can look up a base recipe but now with a cake that goes in the oven that you know if I'm going to take it somewhere especially I would not do that because it might sink in the middle if you get your liquids different than your um than your, you know, powder, your flour, and your dry ingredients. But if it's just something that I'm going to eat at home with my husband, then, you know, I will make a cake where the proportions may not be perfect, but it still tastes amazing. It just may sink in the middle a little bit. And so... You know, when I take food to, to places or to guests or to give away, I make my best recipes. I buy, you know, everything just from scratch, make sure it's just fresh from the store. But these were not expired yet. They were just getting close. So look at how much batter that made. Um, so that used that up. So I'm going to come over here. Um, we almost ate all the brownies out of the freezer yesterday I talked about. Um, those were so good. Even frozen, I had um, put them away over a month ago. And um, I, uh, you know, they were really good brownies at the time, but I would made a whole pan. And for some reason, we just didn't eat them at church or I didn't have anywhere to take them. So I thought, you know, this will be really good when we're really hungry and I don't feel like cooking. And this kind of little tiny portions of things <coughs> that um you know that I've put in the freezer like I have two pieces of lasagna that I wrapped like three times in saran wrap plus put in a freezer thing um that's going to taste really good on like Saturday where I'm still kind of sick still trying to get my work done and it's just really convenient so um I'm glad I did that but I am running out of stuff um uh, update from yesterday, I did open this beef, and honestly, I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's fully cooked, and I took a bite of it, and honestly, it's it's no different than if you got a frozen pot pie, like a Marie Callender's frozen pot pie, or if you um, had a taquito, you know, that's frozen. That's what this tastes like. It's just really actually very good, but it doesn't have any gravy on it. So what I'm going to do is we have all that rice. We still have this quinoa and this rice here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in... Um, like about 11 o'clock right before noon I'm going to put this in a saucepan and I have a little bit of brown gravy mix <coughs> and a little bit of ranch dressing and that makes the most amazing gravy with just some water and those two things 
Of course, you can make, you know, beef gravy or something else if you want to. But those two things, I don't want to add a ton of calories to this, but I just want enough moisture that I can reheat it and have just enough gravy to, like, you know, go over either I have a hash brown mix in the in the pantry still that I could use, or I'm going to just use this quinoa rice and get that rotated out because it's still good, but I want to get it out of my pantry because I did get it on sale and it's about to expire. So that's what we're going to have for lunch. And then I have tortillas too. If, if my husband wants to wrap the beef itself in a tortilla, I've got cheddar cheese. So there's all kinds of options. So I really, I was prepared to throw it away because, I mean, I'll do what I can, but I'm I'm not willing to like, you know, just I, I can only eat so many foods that I, you know, have never tried or whatever. And But this one, um, if I needed something, like if I were worried about COVID again or worried about, um, you know, just a storm coming and I really felt like I needed a few weeks worth of groceries for some reason, this would be something that if I had to as a canned product that would last a long time, I would actually buy that. It, it's edible. It's not something that I'm going to have to force myself to eat. And I wanted to try a bite of it before I put any other ingredients with it. Cause then that's just wasting money. You know, if you're just trying to cover up some food to eat it, I don't think it's worth it. I would have, you know, um, there's only salt added. There's nothing else added to it. So if it had been bad or I just thought it was not good, it just has beef and sea salt. Um, if it had been something I just couldn't tolerate, I would have just slowly this week put a couple pieces a day on top of my dog's food and he would have loved it. But you know, actually, I think I'm going to, I I think it's great. We're going to make a meal out of it. So today, um, as of food in the house and that kind of thing, it's a no-spend day. Now, the weather is finally clearing, and it looks like I'm going to get out of town, and then I am, like, really low on a ton of stuff. So today or tomorrow, depending on when I go to the store out of town, it's going to be a very expensive trip, probably about $100. I need dog food, which is going to be about $60 of it as it is, and then I need next week's supplies. So, you know, it might even be $125, $150. I still have things to work with in my pantry so um, we have two loaves of bread downstairs so I'm going to continue to make either French toast or maybe buy some really high quality sandwich meat that we're happy to have um, I, I have plenty of chili ingredients except for the ground beef and you know I've got green chilies I've got beans I've got lots of tomato so uh, tomato cans of tomatoes that I want to rotate so I may um, make a, a not a huge pot of chili, but a, you know, a medium-sized pot of chili, and we might eat that a couple, two, three meals this week. Um, and then I have, you know, a little bit of noodles. I have this rigatoni, and I have some spaghetti sauce. But, you know, we've been eating out of the pantry. Um, if you don't know about these green beans, oh, my goodness, they are the best, and they are, like, hardly no calories. I could eat this entire can Let's see how many servings is in here. If I was hungry and just like really needed to eat, like sometimes I work out twice a day and I just can't get my appetite under control, um, <clears throat> I could eat this entire can for what? Um, six times four, what is it? <laughs> um, 240, for like 300 calories if I was really that hungry. So sometimes I make one of those, you know, that would be a good addition to the beef today um, rather than so many carbs with the rice. Um, our stock of oatmeal is really good. We have that for breakfast a lot. Um, we have a lot of protein powder on hand still. We are getting really low on peanut butter. Um, I only see that little bit up there. And then I have almost everything I need for my spam fried rice. Um, so I'm going to need to to buy some stuff to go with everything. Uh, I still have all the ingredients to make homemade bread every day if I wanted to. I'm just trying to balance our calories with rotating everything that I am. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to... Um you know, uh, go to the store and try to match up the ingredients I have. I'm really happy with the progress of cleaning out my pantry so that I can start new without a huge financial crisis. Um, my heart is not in a lot of the foods that we used to eat anymore. We like spaghetti. We like, um, you know, a lot of very fattening food, and we still do eat that. But we're trying to slowly incorporate huge salads and taco salads and things into our life that really have helped my husband shed a lot of weight. 
and I have shed some. I, um, you know, had braces at the time, so eating salad was much more difficult. Now that my braces are off and I'm able to eat a lot of other foods um, that are healthier and vegetables and things, I've been, you know, really toning up um, with the, the better foods. But that's very expensive, and it doesn't last long, and you have to really watch it from expiring. That's the difficulty with fresh vegetables and all of that where we live. I'm not saying if you live in a bigger city, you can just maybe run out 10 minutes a day and get what you need or every other day. But for me, I've got to get it home, preserve it at the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold. And then I've got to keep it in my fridge from freezing or, you know, whatever. So (coughs) pardon me. So anyway, that's the update guys. But as far as most of today, it'll be a no spend and anything I buy will be for the coming week. So I will update you. I'll show you my receipt in a few days. It may be Saturday or Sunday by the time I actually get back. Um, I don't think I need gas today. I think we filled up on that trip on Saturday on the way home from Denver. And I'm pretty sure I have three quarters of a tank. And so I don't need to buy gas today. So um, I think I'm good. But anyway, I wanted to update you on my spending. I think think I'm going on, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's four full days where I did not spend a dime out of our checkbook. Um, actually, this morning I wrote a check for 30, was it $25 for my classes that I take, my workout classes. So I forgot about that this morning. I did actually spend $25 this morning um, on a check I just wrote. And then I do need to save up the money this week and buy my pass for the entire year. It's um, $250 for the entire year to go to like unlimited classes and workouts at this place because it's kind of sponsored by the city. So to me, that's a bargain and I need to get in there and pay that though, but I want to pay cash. So that's part of why I've also been going very easy on our groceries so that I can just write a check for that. Um, I need to do it this week because I've already been working out a few times in January. I missed most of January with this sickness, um, but I am back into it now, and so I need to pay up. (laughs) But anyway, guys, you have a great day. I'll update you. Um, It'll probably be an expensive weekend by the time I pay for working out and pay for groceries. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.